Hi, here is Daria. And here is Bogdan, and we both came from Czech Republic, Prague. Yeah, and we also do know how to steal in a legal way. <laughs> Basically, here in Vilnius, we just try to solve two problems. First is uh, first problem is that in our life there is no time for games anymore because we are permanently in action. And the second one is really easy and simple, that brands are not using the potential of app market for their pair services. However, we do have a solution for that. Quatch, or Quatch. Quatch is connecting real life and technology. So basically, Quatch is a mobile application will, uh, which helps your brand or brand in general to be one step ahead. Basically, Quatch is really good solution for customers to promote their brands and also it's a great opportunity for users to win a great prize. So basically within a couple of simple steps you will learn first of all how to hunt and second of all you will easily can win some prize, valuable prize from your favorite brand. Yeah, let's see how it works. The system is very simple. You download the application from, from the App Store or from the Google Store, and it's for free once again. Then you, detect the, uh, then you detect your opponent on the map via GPS or Internet. Then you can steal the coins or so-called brand coins from the other users you are using basically bottom catch or quatch it. So if you are still somehow 10 meters from the opening, you can steal it and you can be branded. The idea is to hunt as much brand as possible, but don't forget uh, to protect yourself, uh, either buying premium services, either just simply run. If you, if you just gather the biggest amount of this Quatch brand during the one week of gaming, then you win the biggest prize. Like, you would ask who would play? I don't know, who won't play this game? Because every active person with a mobile phone, with a smartphone, will definitely be attracted to it. Quatch is a very flexible app. It's, it can be just uh, implemented to any, any brand. To be honest, there is no competition on the market. However, we do have to keep in mind that brands, every brand have internal marketing system within company. Yeah, brands are our main customers. They're buying our just they're buying campaign from us and also we are charging users in a case they are buying premium services. So it's both B2B and B2C oriented. Yeah, and as Bogdan said once again that users can be also like a monetization system because they can buy a premium services. And that'll be your time up. And the judges are already fighting for the microphone. Wow. You might want to drop down on the stage so you can actually see them. Could you tell me what service did you make? Uh, what brands did you ask about this service? What's what's uh, uh, reply for them? Yeah, thank you. Just uh, when we were speaking about premium services, uh, or about no, the service. Service. Did you speak to major brands or which brands yeah. you speak to? And uh, basically, what we were trying to get with Coca-Cola people being here, but we didn't. We just we just started the speech because we just came with an idea, and during this weekend we were make, making like pretty, making it, trying to make it perfect so we can like just implement it and start doing like their developing. Okay. Thank you. However, we did try some local, local companies, and they were definitely like interested in it. Local, like Czech Republic. So, what's the value proposition for me as a user? So, I still didn't get that. So, basically, who will answer? I just uh, the key point why you should uh, start playing because you will win the prize if you collect the uh, biggest amount of brands. It can be something like really, I don't know, for example, car and you don't have to do anything really big. And second thing, it's excitement because you have to all the time like just to be involved in it and even if you are in tram or just somewhere located, you can be stolen and you can protect so just Any First of all, thanks for coming all the way from Prague. Uh, no, basically the next slide was uh, even being local, think global. So the idea is to start 
<laughs> the, the idea is to start uh, on a local level, but just I hope that within six to 12 months we'll be able to reach um, in 10 countries about 30 brands. Yeah, I, now I have a question. Um, uh, one of the problems you explained that people don't have enough time to play, and you're offering a game. Yeah, but this game that connects real life and technology. I don't have to sit in front of a computer. I don't have to sit uh, just in front of uh, and be concentrated. I just get a notification and click one button. And basically, during me being somewhere around, I just can't do it and not pay attention anymore. So the adrenaline and the game system is still involved, but like, first of all, you can support your favorite brand. It's nice advertisement, and it's still fun. Maybe, maybe you should merge with the watch art team and make a game out of these papers, you know, where people are about to throw them away or anything. Or maybe you can make people find those, you know, pieces of, of paper in trash and make a game out of that. But it's becoming some kind of quest, and like they mainly need to win a huge prize. You have a quest for more time because you're out. <laughs> Thank you very much.